What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian. Now today I want to look at which Ash of War is better between Blood Blade and Bloody Slash after the nerf. We're going to look at casting time, the amount of health it takes, the amount of FP it takes, and of course, most importantly, how much total damage it does. Now the setup for this is simple, I won't be using any talisman, so we're gonna be looking at raw numbers, and we're going to test the damage with both Blood Scaling and Occult Scaling. We're also going to look at the pros and cons of both of these Ashes of War with how they work and at the end I think we'll see a clear winner. So first up we're going to use Bloodblade with a plus a 25 Ujigatana and my stats are 40 Dexterity and 60 Arcane. And I also have damage numbers for 50 Dexterity and 45 Arcane but I don't have footage of those so I'll just be sharing it with you after we test this out. So we get 390 off the initial hit. And it seems to do 390 consistently. Now to test Blood Blade again on the same katana, except we're using a cult scaling. So we get 460. Ouch, we thought that was gonna miss. So 416 for a cult scaling. Which makes sense because now we have more points in Arcane and Occult scales with Arcane. Now I'm going to do Bloody Slash on my Uchi Katana again uh, with Blood Scaling this time. So 1282. Now we're going to test Bloody Slash with Occult Scaling. And that is why I need this Ashel Block. <laughs> so, at 1348. You might think, I know what the winner is, V, because Blaze Slash does so much more damage, right? But I want to actually show you something, because the way these two Ashes of War work are very, very different. And to choose which one is the best, I don't think we can just rely on numbers. So I want to show you something on a bigger enemy. Now, I want you to pay attention to the health bar and my health bar as I'm doing damage to this big guy. Alright, so the first hit did about 1100 damage, I think, and now we're doing 867. But look at look at my health bar. I didn't even do a quarter of his health, and I'm nearly dead. And now we're doing 744 damage because of the debuff, but we're not really looking at numbers for this. So you see how, like, that's not even a quarter of his health, and I'm nearly dead. Now I'm going to be testing Blood Blade with Occult Scaling on the same katana. So I want you to look at my health, and I want you to look at the dragon self as well. Look at that big chunk it just took, and look at the numbers stacking and how quickly I can do this without taking a lot of my health. Now I did way more damage than Bloody Slash, and I have almost all of my health bar. Not only that, I actually got a blood proc. The dragon's blood loss bar actually filled up as I was using only that Ash of War and not actually hitting it. So the Ash of War has this really unique thing where it procs blood. And you don't have to wind it up each time and again you will get blood proc. With the blood proc we did 15k damage which is pretty insane and you can't do that with bloody slash. And not to mention, that was 15k damage without any damage boost talismans and with the debuff from the dragon. Now let's test the recovery frames and the startup frames of the animation of both of these Ashes of War and which one is quicker. I'm also going to do a R1 hit right after to see when our character is recovered out of that animation. Now, as I mentioned, I was using, uh, earlier when I was testing, I was using 45 arcane and 50 dex, and the way the damage increased was exactly the same. So it was doing more damage with occult scaling, basically bloody slash with blood scaling would do 1228 with 45 arcane, and with 60 arcane bloody slash, again with blood affinity would do 1282. So it seems as though it's a bit more optimal to put more points in Arcane than in Dex if you want to use a Blood Ash of War. So 
So let's look at the pros and cons of both of these. So starting with Bloody Slash, one of the big pros is that it does a ton of initial damage. But the issue is, it takes away a lot of your health. The range is really bad compared to Blood Blade. It's much slower and you can't recast it as quickly as you can with Blood Blade. So it's good for smaller enemies if you can take them out with one hit, but once you get to bosses then it might become a problem. Now looking at Blood Blade, it does less damage initially on the first hit, but as you continue to cast it, the damage will stack, and not only that, you will get a blood proc, which will increase the damage by a metric crap ton. As we saw when I was testing it on the dragon. Not only that, it has better range, it's quicker, and it doesn't take away your health if you're continuously casting it. Now the only other con I could think of is that it doesn't have the same spread or hitbox that Bloody Slash does, and it doesn't really track enemies well, you know, you have to do it while they're not moving because it'll just miss. But those are the only bad points I can think of for Bloodblade. So for me personally, the verdict would have to be Bloodblade, and to maximize your damage, you would do Bloodblade with Occult Scaling, with more points in Arcane than in Dexterity. As I mentioned earlier, the testing you saw, I had 60 Arcane and 40 Dex. So that is what I found in my testing. Let me know which Ash of War you think is better overall. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll see you all very soon.